What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to back up your old iPhone and restore it to the brand new 2020 iPhone SE to make sure you have all of your data from your previous iPhone. So for this video, I will be transferring all the data over from my iPhone 8 to the iPhone SE. Now my iPhone 8 is currently on iOS 13.4 and the iPhone SE also ships with iOS 13.4. Now if you're on a higher version than 13.4, like iOS 13.4.1, 13.4.5 or something later, later on down the road, I will also show you how to work around that here in a minute. So yeah, like I mentioned, this video will show you how to retain all of your information. And that includes your contacts, your text messages, your applications, your photos, your passwords in Safari, everything will be transferred over using this method. All right, so the first thing you guys should do is go ahead and back up your old iPhone via iCloud or iTunes. So the easiest way to do this, of course, is on device via iCloud. So if you go into our settings right here and then go to our profile picture right here and then go to iCloud, this is where you select what you want to be backed up. So make sure you have everything checked off right here and ticked on that you want to back up. So for instance, if you wanted stocks, if you wanted to transfer over all the data in stocks, just go ahead and make sure that is selected right there. And then of course in photos, you do have a few other options in here as well. Make sure this is turned on if you want all your photos to be transferred. You can also have shared albums turned on and you can see a few other things in here as well. So now to back up, you go down to iCloud Backup and then right here it says backup now. Go ahead and do that and it should go ahead and back up all your device. Should be pretty quick, but of course it will depend on how much data you are backing up and also how fast your network speed is. Now I do wanna mention that the iCloud backup is optional for iOS 13, but it will be beneficial later down the road. But for iOS 12, this is the way that you're gonna be able to back up. So if you're on a really old device that did not support iOS 13, you are going to have to do an iCloud backup. But iOS 13, there's a faster and easier way where you don't need the iCloud backup to transfer over all your data, but it is still beneficial to do an iCloud backup first. All right, so you can see there it did backup. It said last successful backup 1119 AM. And just to confirm this, you can also go into manage storage right here. And then you have backups right here and it will show your backup. So you can see we have the iPhone 8. So this iPhone right here, and you can see the backup and it'll show everything that is backed up and how big it is. You can also delete the backup here if you wanted to. All right, so now we can go ahead and move on to the iPhone SE and get the setup process going. So we're gonna go ahead and set all this off to the side. Make sure your old iPhone is unlocked at this time as well. Make sure it's fully unlocked. Then we're gonna go ahead and press the home button on the iPhone SE. And you should see this pop up right here on the old iPhone if you're on iOS 13. So you can see it says set up new iPhone, use your Apple ID to set up your new iPhone. And then you just wanna go ahead and click continue on the old iPhone. And you don't need to do anything else on the iPhone SE after you scan the little barcode right there. So all you have to do is go ahead and scan that. And you can see there, it will begin the process after you scan it. So now we just need to leave the old iPhone B. Just let it sit there, and then you will need to enter in the passcode of the old iPhone. Once you do that, you will see the setup process begin, and you will have to go through and confirm a few settings and everything like that. So we will also have to set up Touch ID here as well. Now you can see here, it says it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. And some people think that that has to do with the SIM card. So if you're wondering when you should switch over your SIM card from the old iPhone to the new iPhone, you can wait until this whole process is over. You don't need to enter your SIM card into the new iPhone just yet. So it activates via your Apple ID and not the SIM card. So just FYI. So here you go. You can see we do have Touch ID. Use your fingerprint in place of your passcode or Apple ID password for purchases. So we're definitely gonna go ahead and set this up because Touch ID, of course, is a big feature. It's the only biometric for this device. So all you wanna do is lift and rest your finger on the home button repeatedly. So just put it on there. Try to use a few different parts of your thumb, not just the same part of your thumb every time. And you don't need to press the button. As you can see there, if you press the button, it will give you a little warning. You just have to kind of set your finger on top of the home button there. And it says adjust your grip, keep going to capture the edges of your print. Click continue. You can see here, just do different angles of your thumb. Just kind of think of different ways you would be unlocking your phone, like from what angle and things like that. And then you'll get this prompt right here. Transfer your data. You can directly transfer your data during setup or finish downloading it later. So you can see we have transfer from iPhone or download from iCloud. So once again, if you're on iOS 13, you're gonna use the transfer from iPhone method right here, but you can also use download from iCloud if you're on an older version of iOS or you just prefer doing that. But the fastest way is going to be transfer from iPhone. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on that. And of course you should still have your old iPhone just sitting there. It should be idle right now with the little spinning circle indicating that it is still working on the transfer process. So if it's running low on battery, of course, go ahead and plug that in and charge it just so it does not mess up any data transfer 
but it should just be sitting there. You should not be touching that at all. Everything right now takes place on the new iPhone SE. And by the way, this would be a good time to switch over that SIM card because you do have a little bit of downtime right here. All right, so we get the terms and conditions. Let's go ahead and agree to that. And you can see here it says settings from your other iPhone. The following settings can be transferred from my old iPhone or you can customize them individually. So I think most people are just going to want to have the same settings that they had on their old iPhone. So if you do do customized settings, you can go through this as well. So I'll just run through this just briefly. Keep your iPhone up to date. So this is basically if you want to install iOS updates manually or automatically, I would recommend doing this manually just because I do cover all iOS updates on this channel. So you'll always know when a new update is out and if you should update or not, you should never do it automatically. So location services, of course you do want to go ahead and enable that. A lot of things rely on the location services. And then we have Apple Pay. So if you did use Apple Pay on your old iPhone, I would definitely go ahead and continue doing that. I don't think I had it set up on this iPhone, so we're just gonna set that up later in Wallet. And then we have Siri, let's go ahead and continue just so we do have Siri enabled. So improve Siri and dictation so you can share your audio recordings from Siri. I'm personally not going to do that, but you can enable that if you want to. iPhone analytics, you could share those with Apple. I don't share that just because sometimes it could drain battery. So I'm not gonna share the analytics with Apple. And there we go, you can see it begins the transferring data process and it doesn't show us a time remaining just yet, an ETA just yet. But again, this will depend on how much data you're transferring over and also how fast your network speeds are. So it should not take me very long at all because I did not have a ton of data, plus I have fast internet. So you can see there, it says about five minutes. I'd say that's about average. It should take you five, 10, maybe 15 minutes at most. But again, it will just depend. So we're gonna sit here and wait for this to finish transferring all the data over. All right, so we just got the prompt saying transfer complete on the old iPhone. You can see the new iPhone is currently rebooting. You can see right here, it says before you trade in, give away or sell this iPhone, you should completely erase it by going to settings and choosing erase all content and settings. So if you are going to sell this phone, you should do this. If not, you can just set it to the side and you know leave it be. But if you were going to sell this, again, to go there, just go to settings and then you want to go to your general scroll all the way down to reset and then you'll see erase all content and settings and to do this you will have to enter in your passcode as well and then after you do this it will be good to sell it won't have any of your data on the iphone anymore so you won't have to worry about anybody having old stuff from your iphone so now on the new iphone you will see this little progress bar right here this is the final step to the transfer and then after this you will see everything is pretty much mirrored from the old iphone to the new iphone including the wallpaper and everything all right so there we go it did finish up and you can already see right away that we have the same exact wallpaper so you can see there we'll start downloading all the applications as well that you had that are not the stock apple applications so you can see twitter instagram amazon all downloading right there if we go to the next page you will see everything is the same over here as well with the addition of some apps right here that i must have deleted previously like iMovie, iTunes U, Kino and things like that. But everything will be transferred over. So just to confirm this, let's go into our contacts and you can see there all of the contacts are intact. Same with photos. You can see we have all of the same photos, 6,699 and 1,500 videos down there at the bottom. So everything did successfully transfer over and now we just have to wait for all the applications to finish up downloading and you will be good to go. So like I mentioned earlier, if your old device is currently on iOS 13.4.1 or something higher than the firmware on the new iPhone SE. So if you go into settings general about, you can see it's on 13.4. So it ships with iOS 13.4. So if you're on a higher iOS version, you will need to simply set up your new iPhone 11 as a new device with no data on it and then update to whatever version you're currently on on your old device. So for instance, if your old iPhone was on iOS 13.4.5, you would just need to update the iPhone SE to 13.4.5 and then go into your settings general go down to reset and then erase all content and settings and it will bring you back to the original starting page that I showed you guys, the original setup page that I showed you at the beginning of this video. Then you will just be able to transfer over all the data very easily. So I know that can be a little bit confusing. So if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. And of course I do always help you guys out down there in those comments. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how to set up your brand new 2020 iPhone SE and transfer all the data over from your old iPhone to the new 2020 iPhone SE. So once again, if you have any questions, if anything went wrong, if you're just confused at how to do something, let me know down in the comments below and I will try my best to get back to you. Of course, if I don't, probably somebody else in the community will help you out there as well. So feel free to leave any type of comments. Also answer me this question because I asked this in my community tab and I got a lot of very interesting answers. So what device did you transfer over from? So you followed this video, what was your old device? So in my case, it was the iPhone 8 
what was yours? So I saw a lot of people upgrading from like the iPhone 10, the iPhone 11, and a lot of phones that I really didn't expect people to be upgrading from to the iPhone SE. So let me know what you upgraded from and how you're liking that new SE. Of course, I will have a lot of other content coming here on the channel as well with the new 2020 iPhone SE. So stay tuned to that. Make sure you guys do subscribe and hit that bell notification as well. I do have a giveaway coming up so you can win a brand new 2020 iPhone SE. Even if you already have one, you can you know win one and maybe sell it. So there you go. So just look forward to that, guys. And again, if you guys did enjoy this video, if it helped you out, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe and stay tuned for the giveaways and all of the content coming on this new device. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.